that there isn't enough money in governments and multilateral banks alone, you do need to get the private sector involved. So make sure that you create the credibility for the developed world to want to put more capital to work with you. For that, you have to become a better bank. You have to be quicker, faster, more focused on impact, less focused on input. The reality is that that gap between tens and hundreds of billions to trillions is not a number that the bank can fill. There is the G20 expert group report that talks about a large capital increase for institutions like the World Bank, which they were talking about raising two to three times the capital we have today. That's a really good idea. I believe the developed world has to be willing to get there. I think they could and would if they could. We'll see where this goes over the next two to three years. But even that doesn't get you to the trillions. So that's why you do eventually need the private sector. That, I think people in the global south recognize very well that you cannot fight poverty without fighting climate change. The only difference is, what do you mean by climate change? The developed world tends to speak about climate change as mitigation. The developing world tends to speak about climate change as adaptation. Because they see the climate change impact on them in terms of irrigation, rainfall, soil, uh, degradation, loss of biodiversity, forestry cover, that kind of thing. Whereas we in the developed world tend to talk about climate change in terms of carbon emissions. That's the real difference.